Stephen Milhausen here, Sports Illustrated. He doesn't need too much of an introduction. And before we even start, I never thought in 2024 I would be doing this. In this, I've enjoyed this entire journey to leading to this match coming up on Saturday. First, he'll be appearing on AEW Dynamite on Wednesday night from Reading, Pennsylvania. You can watch it at 8 Eastern, 7 Central, and 5 Pacific live on TBS. And then we head to AEW Full Gear on Saturday night live on pay-per-view via TrillerPPV.com and your local satellite and cable providers. He's facing QT Marshall on the Zero Hour. Part of the Costco, guys. Big boom. <laughs> AJ. Now, this is just a coincidence. But AJ, I have a big Costco shipment coming in today, my friend. It's coming today. Today's the day. Bring the boom. <laughs> I literally have... Didn't even notice. My wife sent me a screenshot last night, and she's like, I spent about $500 at Costco. And I'm like, <laughs> then I'm looking, and it's some cool stuff. We got some big, like, Nerf guns for Christmas for my kids. I need to get some little knick-knack household stuff, but we got some cool stuff coming in. But I thought of you this morning, but my wife's like, oh, we got the cop. She's like, we got everything coming today, and I'm like. Well, the important thing is, did you get a double chunk chocolate cookie? <laughs> we did not. And I'm a fan of the cookies. You got to get, get there and get it right out of the oven. Yeah, I don't think you want to ship it. You want to get right there, get it right out of the oven, and just get that goodness. Now, see, I, and I'm going to full transparency. I did not know much about you and your son until this really started rolling. I had a... My family, my 14-year-old niece, my 18-year-old niece, they've heard of you guys because they're big fans of TikTok. So let's start there. We'll work back. How did this even, this phenomenon, how did this even come about? Because sometimes you hear it's a big master plan. And sometimes it's just crap just happens and it explodes. It's a very heartwarming and wholesome and simple story. So I had a TikTok page for my business at the time. And one day, Big Justice, at about nine years old, I think he was at the time, comes to me and says, hey, Dad, I want to do a video with you. I was like, wow, this is so cool. Yeah, we're going to be better than this. So we go to a local hamburger restaurant that we love, and we eat the hamburger, and we're doing the video together, and we're doing the boom and having a great time. My videos at the time were getting 1,000, 2,000 views here and there. This video explodes. It gets 100,000 views. So I think to myself, wow. This is the answer right here. So I say to Big Just, I said, all right, this is no more a business page. This is now a father-son channel. Let's go bring the boom. All off. Wow. So how do you gauge, let's see, I view based things on views. Right. Do you base things, are you, are, do you base things just on views or, or do you look at the comments to kind of get a gauge of, okay, this is working, or because sometimes the comments can be like, oh, this is terrible, this sucks, blah, blah, blah. But do you are you more of a, a comments guy, or are you more just looking to see, okay, here's where the views are, we got something. My number one priority, our number one priority, I should say, is bringing happiness to the world. So we're putting out a video today, and I just watched the final cut of the video, and I was smiling from ear to ear. So that's what we want to bring to the world. We bring happiness to the world. So when we look at a video and we know that there's a real feeling of happiness, uh, you know, whether it's going to get millions of views or whether it's going to make, uh, you know, a few hundred thousand people happy, that's the message we want to get out there. So, yeah, views are great. Views are a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to watch the views go up and up yeah. and up. But it's really about creating a quality video that's going to make people happy. And what year was this, by the way, to where you're, you guys were you guys were in the shop eating the burger? What year was this? That was November 2022. So we are right at the two-year mark right now. Wow. Do you still go to the burger place? Yeah, it's called Charm City. It's right over in uh, Deerfield Beach, Florida. It's the best hamburgers anywhere in Florida. So, yeah, we got a great relationship with them. We go in there. Everybody's shouting. Everybody's happy. Uh, they took good care. They take good care of us. So uh, we, have, we have a great time there. You weren't affected at all by the hurricane recently? We were very fortunate. We were very blessed. The hurricane was about 200 miles northwest of us. So 
you know, our hearts and our, our thoughts and our prayers go out to those in Tampa all the way up to North Carolina, uh, sending them our strongest prayers. Uh, we have donated to them. Um, we, we, we have done some uh, philanthropy to, to, to those people in need. So, uh, you know, our hearts and prayers do go out to them. I mean, no one should go through this. So we are sending our absolute best. No, I agree with that 150%. And now, you know, I look at this and I'm like, so then once I start learning about you, I start watching the videos. You got me. I'm not a big TikTok guy. And I'm sitting there talking to my brother in law, and he's like, oh, yeah, this guy is, these guys are great. And I'm like, no. So I start watching and I'm like, you're a constant. You're, anytime you guys are now putting up videos, I'm all in. On watching these videos, and is there one or is there one in your mind that sticks out to you that's just like, yeah, oh, man, we got to keep doing something just like this. There was the massive "We're Costco Guys" video that's now somewhere around 55, 57 thousand views, something like that. A million, excuse me, fifty-five million, fifty-seven million views. So that really is the the, the foundation of our channel. There was a video that went out about a week before that video that was kind of the whole idea behind that video, which was, we're father and son. Of course, he's at all my baseball games. We're father and son. He works his biceps tw twice a week. And that's the video I really love because that's the video that shows the real spirit of the relationship between yeah. uh, me and Big Justice. So I, I love that video. And then, of course, our songs. We bring the boom, still bringing it. And now Jingle Boom. Uh, we're just having so much fun making songs and making videos. So, uh, you know, that, that's becoming uh, who we are and what we do. Now, what what was your job before <laughs> all of this really, before this really took off? I was a regional manager for a nationwide mortgage lender. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, we all need houses, my friend. There ain't nothing yeah, wrong with yeah. that. I'm just, I'm just talking about, I mean, talking about like, leading a team in the financial industry to uh create videos every day with my family um what a jump but um you know we're, we're we're happy we're loving this and we're we're just so happy we can bring happiness out there to the world are you still with the mortgage lending company um i i am still but i'm i'm very active we, we can't get to everything that we have to get to with social media so um I do still have a title. I still do have a position there, but um, all my time, all my effort is going into uh, content creation right now. Hey, would you ever have thought, and I know the mortgage industry a little bit. Right. You ever think successful job, very good living, helps provide for family, it's, it's you're enough. living very comfortably. Uh, yeah. Did you ever think you'd go from that world to the world of social media? If you yeah, had to even say enough. like five years ago. Absolutely, because this is where I always wanted to be. I always wanted to be in entertainment. I, I was a pro wrestler for about 11 years from about 1994 to about 2005. Uh, then, you know, got into the mortgage business and did well and, um, you know, was able to, uh, uh, you know, grow our family. And then when the uh, social media opportunity came together, you know, that's where I wanted to be. And we love it. And each and every day we're creating videos as a family. And now Ashley and Mama Justice have their own channel. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're all doing this together. We're traveling together. We're creating together. I'm the happiest I've ever been. Now, the, now with I'm going to go back to Costco really quick. Because right. now these fine, great people at Costco, and I have my Costco membership. Right. If they given you a free spot, you and the family a spot, a free spot, a free membership out of this, you've made you made them famous. If we're just being <laughs> blunt about this, you made them famous, Big Boom AJ. If we're being real here, we have we have an incredible relationship with Costco. I would not ask for anything more from Costco. I'm so happy with Costco. What uh, Costco does, particularly our store here in Boca Raton. Uh, they let us know when a new product is coming in or when there's a promotion going out. So our management is able to reach out to that brand and have us create videos for those brands to raise awareness for the products in Costco. So it, it works out great for everyone. Costco refers to us as the Costco guys and the relationship couldn't be any better. What's your favorite thing to get at Costco? I know everybody wants to hear it. it's the double chunk chocolate cookie. I love Costco meat. I think Costco, I, I like New York shrimp. I think Costco meat is very, very good. I think Costco meat is very good. 
Uh, you know, they're, uh, Big Justice loves getting Pokemon at Costco. We get Pokemon or we get baseball cards every time. There's, there's always something there you find. You find, uh, you find the hammock. You find the power tool. You find something there all the time. I'm a big fan of their blueberry muffins. The blueberry the muffin you like. Okay. I don't know why, but something about <laughs> – like, I had good blueberry muffins in my time. And then once my wife and I got a Costco sp- membership, one day she just – bought them and she's like what about these and i'm like oh that's a good deal i'm like we can try those and just mouth watering like it just like you want to just eat the package of six that comes with it and i'm like these are the best thing blueberry muffins i've ever had in my entire life well i gotta go easy on carbs leading up to the aew match but i'm gonna give you a good secret with the blueberry muffin you ready i'm ready Cut, cut the blueberry muffin in half butter each side and put it on the grill on the griddle. Put it on the griddle and then try the blueberry muffin. Ooh. And bring the boom. See, my wife. Right. She loves cutting that muffin. And I've never understood why. And I'm like, what are we doing? Why are you just eat it? It's right there. And she's like, but I'm gonna cut it the next time. Yeah. Next time I go in, because I hate going. People in I'm based out of I'm about 20 miles south of Chicago in the suburbs. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. We went to a Costco over in Chicago. I love Chicago. I Chicago's absolutely. great, but people in Costco don't yeah. go to a Costco here because people do not know how to push a cart and people don't know how to stay out of each other's way. Everyone's like you know, right on top of each other. It's like we, when we were out of Chicago, we we went to uh, Barstool Sports with Big Cat and the crew. That was awesome. Those we, are my guys. We went to the Cameo Building. Uh, love everyone over at Cameo. And then uh, we met up with our good friend Tommy the Food Guy, who's a Chicago guy. Yes. And yes, Tommy yes. the Food Guy has the Tesla that has the open roof. So he yes. drove us around the city, and we got to look up and see the buildings. It was an unbelievable experience. We saw the church that didn't burn down in, what was that, in the 1850s or something? Correct. Correct. Right? Yes. So it was the church where the fire started, and yes. everything burned down with the church? Correct. Something like that? Or the barn or something, right? It was um, It was a church. It was a church, yeah. And yes. Wow, man, Chicago's got such rich history. I've loved every minute of Chicago. I can't wait to come back. Well, we will welcome you back. And we're going to get into Chicago because this, this is how this story really ties in. And yeah. <laughs> there, was a, there was a story that came out yesterday, and I already knew this because I've talked to your opponent. That's how this interview even came about. We, you guys found out I had talked to QT, and this kind of how this interview even – this interview got – we even were able to connect, which is which is fantastic. And <laughs> He oh he he's bringing he says he's bringing the doom. But he was telling me that you were in the and you said it earlier you were in the wrestling business, but no one even knew about this. And that's how you guys first ever met was in the wrestling business. And you started in the almost the mid nineties. You were wrestling until two thousand five. And yeah. how would you characterize that time for you in the wrestling business? Man, it was a lot of fun. It, it, was, it was a lot of fun. It was the WWE Attitude Era. And uh, I I, rest, I went down to OVW, which was kind of like the NXT at the time. And I had my tryout with WWE. And then um, I, I was uh, in the New Jersey independent scene and, and just loved every minute of it. Because, Stephen, there is nothing like pro wrestling. Like, we do our videos now. And we get all these unbelievable opportunities now. I mean, we got to play basketball at Madison Square Garden. We were on the Jimmy Fallon show. There is nothing, there is absolutely nothing than coming through the curtain in a professional wrestling match. There is no greater feeling on this planet. So, I mean, pro wrestling is just in my heart. I, I, I absolutely love every minute of it. I loved every match. I loved every minute. So, you know, pro wrestling is just um, a part of me. And I'm so excited to be back in the ring this Saturday night. What led you to stepping away in 2005? Um, to tell you the truth, so we got married, Erica and I, Mama Justice and I got married in September 2005. And it was right around November 2005 where uh, I was in the um, in the mortgage banking industry. I did open up my own business at the time and it needed a lot of focus. And quite truthfully, it, it, pro wrestling beats you up, man. Your body, like some of these guys that are known into their 50s and their 60s, I don't know how they do it. And especially some of these AEW guys today. When we were in Chicago and I saw the match of Will Osprey, Will, Will Osprey, um, I mean, how uh, Will Osprey popped in that match. I mean, these guys are like what athletes these guys are. And 
to get up and do it the next day. So yeah, it was a little bit of that, you know, I started my business and that required a lot of focus and a little bit that my body was wearing down. And, you know, it was just, it, it was time. It was time. Um, my favorite organization that I ever wrestled for was Phoenix Championship Wrestling. They were closing down at the time and, you know, things, it was time. It, it was time. But listen, I'm back now and, and, and it's time to bring the boom. Now, who are growing up? Were you a wrestling fan growing up? Or I was a huge wrestling fan. I, I loved wrestling. I drove my father nuts, but I loved it. <laughs> who, who, was, who was your guy? Because I know back in my time, I was a little guy. Yeah. Hulk, Hulk Hogan was my guy. But growing up, who was the guy for you? Uh, of, of course, Hogan was the big one. And, you know, the body slam of Andre the Giant, which is epic. I I don't think, you know, you can talk about the, the ladder match at uh, WrestleMania 17 and, um, you know, Stone Cold and The Rock and all the um, all, all the big moments they've had. I still don't think there's a, a greater WrestleMania moment than Hulk Hogan slamming Andre the Giant. I agree. That is agree. still a, an unbelievable moment. And then uh, I love the Road Warriors, uh, particularly Road Warrior Animal. I just love the way those guys storm the ring, attack before the bell, just pure domination. So uh, my, I, I was very, very much inspired, particularly by Road Warrior Animal. Are you painting the face on Saturday when you make the ring walk? No, I never really did the face paint because I'm more of a hero. So my character was, you know, very much more of a hero. So uh, I never really did the face paint thing. But um, uh, I, I think you'll see some shades of Road Warrior Animal in my clothesline. Nice. There we go. Now, when I talked to QT, he had told me you guys linked up, knew, knew of each other. To your recollection, what was what was your impression when you first met QT Marshall? Well, it's not the same QT that I know now. So when I was getting ready, we talked about it a moment ago. When I was uh, getting ready to step out of the ring, um, you know, I found a um, a young wrestler that I thought could carry the torch. That I thought looked very heroic. That uh, was dressed in the American flag, and uh, at the time he was bulldog. Uh, Bulldog Mike Kalari he was, and I handed him my American flag. I brought him out to the ring, and I said, look, uh, it's time for me to step away, but this 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 industry needs a hero, and I'm giving you the flag. It's it, it's up to you now. And I guess uh, he just, you know, wasn't able to carry that flag the way I do. So now it's time for me to come back in, and it's time for me to show him how it's done, and it's time for me to bring the boom. So how'd you get how'd you come up with it? The boom. Because I love that. I think that is yeah. tremendous. How did you come up with how'd you come come up with that in your mind? Well, it's something I've always been saying. So in baseball, as a kid, hitting a home run, that was a boom. In uh, high school football, a big sack, that was a boom. And I think like it really came back uh to the forefront when Big Justice started playing baseball. Big Justice started playing baseball at about five years old in the okay. T ball league. He was smashing balls all over the place at five years old. So um, he would uh, he would he was walking up to the plate one day. He's got his bat over his shoulder. He's strutting to the plate. I said, "Here comes Big Justice!" And now this was in tee ball. He smashes a ball from the tee over the fence. And I said, "Big Justice goes boom!" And it was born. And we've just been shouting boom ever since. How old is he? Because I seen I seen some videos of him swinging the bat. He could. He's got a nice, good swing there. Yeah, he's 11 now, right after okay. the AEW match Saturday night. So one thing about wrestling, I'm always the first guy to get there and the last guy to leave, and that's not changing. So after we leave the um, after we leave full gear on Saturday, we're going to get some rest Saturday night, and then Sunday morning we're taking off for uh, Globe Life Field in Texas because Big Justice is going to be in a home run derby on Monday. It's the uh, International Power Showcase, and uh, Big Justice will be – He's 11, but he will be in the 12U category of, of batters. Man, he brings the boom. And, you know, so the, you and QT knew each other, and then you retire, you go your way. Now, did you have any – was there any contact with QT after you you left the business, or was it just you didn't start talking to him for years upon years? They had a plan. QT, QT and Sanjay had a plan, and they reached out to me, and they said, hey, why don't you and Big Justice come out to Chicago, come on out to All Out, uh, do some behind-the-scenes stuff, bring your bring your chicken bakes, your double chum chum with cookies, your boomer doom. I said, yeah, I love pro wrestling. Let's do it. So we come out there. 
Now, the one thing I should have realized, even is they said to me, oh, and by the way, yeah, bring your gear. We're going to take some pictures. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a good time taking some point. pictures. So uh, after All Out, you know, it gets, uh, gets a great reaction, and there's a lot of comments out there. Hey, when is Big Boom AJ getting in the ring? So I get a call from QT. Hey, AJ, what do you think? You want to do one match, step back in the ring one more time, and – you know, listen, I'm a wrestler, so yeah, I mean, this is AEW call, and it's time to get in the ring. So we get the Barstool Sports, we're about to sign my contract, and then QT turns the whole tables. I uh, says, we're, you know, I brought you here to get you back in the ring. So I said, great, we're going to team up, we're, we're, we're bringing the boom. He goes, no, one-on-one. -on -one. So now, from that moment on, then he threw the double chunk chocolate cookies and Steve, I know what I got to do now. The whole world knows what I got to do now. There's no, there's no power behind the doom. Like there's power behind the boom, and I'm bringing the boom. Now, you can confirm or deny this. I heard through a birdie, right, that it took some convincing to get Mama Justice <laughs> on board to, to get for, to, to wrestle at full gear. Is is that true or not true? Mama Justice and I are never going to hold each other back. So, yeah, she, she's very concerned, of course. And, you know, we have so much going on right now. And, um, you know, injuries are, of course, they happen in pro wrestling. And, you know, it's just something that we can't have happen right now. But um, Mama Justice and I would never hold either one another back from our dream. So she's on board, and we're all in. Let's go. Is she going to be there on Saturday? Absolutely. Mama Justice will be there. Ashley will be there. Big Justice will be there. We might even see the Rizzler. <laughs> now how much preparation hit because you know you look at it it'll be nearly 19 around 19 years since yeah. you've been out of the ring how much practice have you been how much preparation have you put in and where have you been going to get back in the wrestling because there's a difference in, and you know this between doing the treadmill running around the, or, you know going for a jog compared to actually getting into ring and getting in the ring work how much time have you given yourself it's been a lot of preparation, and I'll be in the ring two more times before Saturday night. Um, I feel great. I feel great. When I first stepped back into the ring, footing was tough. Footing was a challenge. I mean, listen, we're, we're, we're wearing flat boots on a flat surface. So, yeah, I mean, you're, you feel like you're standing on ice when you first get in the ring. But, you know, I got it down now. I got the balance down. Um, you know, I've been running the ropes. I've been climbing the ropes. Um, I got my strength behind me. I'm feeling really good right now, Steven. No, that is good to hear because I know some guys it it some guys just don't get it. Some guys and girls just don't get it back. But some it, sometimes it just takes a little time. So that is very good to hear. It came, and, it, came, it, it came right back, and you know each day it came back more and more. And you know day one I got in the ring and I was you know thinking to myself, all right, I got to do this, but I got to figure it out. Day two I was like, all right, wait, this is a lot better than yesterday. By day three, I was pretty the boom. There you go. No, that's really good to hear and. You know, I this, you know, it was supposed to be, like you said, it was just supposed to be more of an internet type of feud, online social media feud, which I which I think I'm glad to see more of because I think we're really the we're in that new digital media digital media era to where more stuff is taking place on digital media, more people are watching on social media. And so I thought the the concept of how you guys in AEW were going about this, I thought I think is very perfect. But then a curveball's thrown, and you're going to be on Dynamite on Wednesday evening from Reading, Pennsylvania. And why make an appearance on TV instead of keeping keeping everything on social media? What What's the mindset behind that? Well, I think because in pro wrestling, there's always something for everybody. So, yeah, we've really been building up the match on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, X, Snapchat, uh, now the pro wrestling fans that do consume pro wrestling, whether on TBS or pay-per-view, uh, now it's time for, uh, Big Boom AJ to get out there, make an introduction, come through the curtain, meet everyone, get that connection. It's, it, it, it's time to do that now because Saturday is right around the corner. His, you're not wrong in his, what'd you make of the diss track? But this came out Monday afternoon and I like QT. And I say this respectfully to QT because I know he'll see this somehow, some way. And so, you know how the internet goes. They'll, they'll clip this and they'll, they'll, they'll get all excited. My five-year-old could have done better. 
he's he's gonna pay for that one. Listen, it's that, that was a, it was weird. It's easy to record a song. It's easy to turn on the camera. It's not that easy to step in the ring with Big Boom AJ. Where do, are you gonna have a rebuttal diss track? My my rebuttal is gonna be Saturday night. <laughs> That's the only rebuttal I need when I power boom QT Marshall right through the middle of the ring at the Prudential Center. Are you a singer? Can you can you can you rap? Absolutely. Big justice rap. I, I I've written every verse to every one of our songs. Uh, we bring the boom. That's what we do. Man, I I want I want to see a a rap battle. You want to see a rap battle between me and between QT you and QT. I want to see you and QT in a rap battle. QT, I think you can, I think you bring in the doom, but the doom will be when he feels the power boom. That's already better than what he came out with yesterday. <laughs> and, then two, and two more questions, AJ. Thank you so much for the time today. This has been so much fun. It's greatly appreciated. And QT Marshall, yeah, he's having lots of fun, but Saturday night on the boom meter, he'll get a boom of one. You know, this match has been hyped really well. You know, Jimmy Fallon show, you brought you bring it up and you say you say right away instant credibility to yourself, instant credibility to AEW. And what are your own expectations once you get inside the ring? My own expectations of myself are that I'm gonna bring it. At this point in my life, when I decide to do something, Steven, it's either a doom or a boom. So if I'm going to do something, I'm bringing the boom. And I know I'm ready Saturday night. I am confident. My body is ready. I know I have an arena full of people and a full Costco verse counting on me. And there's no way I'm letting anybody down. I'm bringing the boom. Are you going to have your have a boom belt? Because QT's got a doom belt. So I got to see a boom belt coming up on, on Saturday evening. I think you're going to be happy about that Saturday. <laughs> yeah. And, and, you know, is this a one, a one and done for you? Do you, or do you want to wait till after the match, kind of see how things go and then make an assessment if you want to do more matches in the future? I think there's going to be more. I think, I, I, I think there's going to be more. I mean, right now, the absolute focus is on Saturday night. I'm in the gym. I'm taking care of my body. I'm uh, putting it all out there. But I, I do think there's going to be more because I'm having a ton of fun with this. And it seems like the audience really loves it, and that's the most important thing. No, you're. I agree with that. As long as the people are having fun, I agree with that 150%. And, AJ, the floor is yours. Plug everything. Social media, where the fans can find you guys. The floor is yours, my friend. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Stephen. So, of course, you can find us as AJ and Big Justice on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat. Also, don't forget, the girls have started up. They're not going to let us have all the fun. So look for Ashley and Mama Justice. Also on TikTok, Instagram. Uh, I think they will be up on YouTube and Snapchat soon. And don't forget, all of our songs are out there. We bring the boom. Still bringing it. And, of course, our new Christmas song, Jingle Boom. And don't forget, Saturday night, AEW, Zero Hour, Full Gear, QT Marshall, be ready. Because Big Boom AJ is bringing up Boom! Your arms are massive. And I'm jealous. I'm not. I am not going to lie. I am extremely jealous of the size of your arms. And you said, so speaker, what about what a blue sky? Yay or nay to blue sky? I'm very, I'm debating whether to get out. Look into that. A new, that's a new platform. It's a new platform. I just right before we started, I got it. I get alerts from the Hollywood Reporter, and they verify that there's now there's over 20 million users on Blue Skies. This new big wave. I keep seeing it on Twitter, and I I always just kind of scroll by it. I'm like, I may have to check out this Blue Sky. It's it's just kind of sweet talk. Gary V always says when a new platform opens up. You know, you're taking a chance if the platform makes it or not. Yeah. That's really the time to jump on because that's when, uh, you know, there's a lot of real estate, uh, a lot of social real estate to be claimed. So, yeah, let's let, let, let's give it a try. I mean, you know what? I mean, who knows? You get Mr. Beast over there. You get Faze Rug over there. You get Preston. You get a bunch of others over there. And, you know, now the thing uh, really starts building up. So it would be great to be a part of it.
I'm going to have to check it out. Absolutely. And you will see Big Boom AJ coming up this Wednesday on AEW Dynamite, 8 Eastern, 7 Central from Reading, Pennsylvania. You can watch AEW Dynamite live on TBS. And then you will see Big Boom AJ, AEW Full Gear Zero Hour, as he will be facing QT Marshall as AEW Full Gear is on Saturday night from the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Zero Hour is available on all AEW social media channels, so make sure you guys check that match out. I am looking forward to the show. I'm I'm looking forward to the match. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to Saturday night. 2024 has been a great year for me, and the fact I get to finally talk to the Costco guy. This is awesome. This is fantastic. AJ, thank you for the extended time. It means a lot. The best of luck on Saturday, and hopefully we talk again in 2025 about your next match. Thank you so much, Stephen. Bring the boom!